Hello, this is Miss Melissa with Preschool Learning Garden. I'd like to share with you some of my top favorite Pete the Cat books. And believe it or not, there are some Pete the Cat books that I would not recommend and I want to caution parents and teachers about. There are a lot of adorable Pete the Cat books. These authors have done a great job of coming up with a lot of books for us to enjoy. And I'm sure that even after I post this, they'll come up with even more for us to enjoy. But these are just some of my top favorite ones and some that I don't recommend. For the ones that I do recommend, I have sorted them into two categories. Ones that I think are more for younger kids, a younger audience, and ones that I think are more for older kids. Well, without further ado, let's get started. These first few are ones that are great for songs. They're based off of songs, so I think they're really cute for preschoolers to sing along to and be able to read with their favorite Pete. Pete the Cat, The Wheels on the Bus. Pete the Cat, Five Little Bunnies. Pete the Cat, The Itsy Bitsy Spider. Pete the Cat, The Pete's Go Marching. And Pete the Cat, Five Little Ducks. Now these next two are great. Um, Pete the Cat, Firefighter Pete, and Pete the Cat, Construction Destruction. These are great when you're teaching um, about community helpers. This one, Pete the Cat and the Perfect Pizza Party, really cute and adorable, and I did a video based on this one. Talks about different food that they can, you can put on your pizza. Pete the Cat, Rocking in My School Shoes. This is great for kids going to school and for the, maybe for the first time figuring out what it's going to be like. This is really cute. Pete the Cat and the Missing Cupcakes. This one's really cute, um, a mystery one. The kids have to solve a mystery in this story. Pete the Cat, I love my white shoes. This one is really good for kids that are learning their colors. It's really cute, fun way to learn their colors with Pete. Pete the Cat and his four groovy buttons. This one is a top favorite for Minnie and for me, and I did some videos based on this book. It's great counting practice. Pete the Cat, meet Pete. Pete the Cat, a pet for Pete. Pete the Cat, Cave Cat Pete. This is another one that I did a video for. This is a really cute one too. Now this next set of books are ones I think are more for older kids, just because there's a lot more words on the page and in some of them there's a lot more going on that, and ones that I think older kids might be able to relate more to. First one, Pete the Cat, Pete's Big Lunch. Great for talking about different types of food. This next one is Pete the Cat Scuba Cat. This one is really cute talking about ocean animals. Pete the Cat and the Tip Top Tree House. Pete the Cat Falling for Autumn. This one's cute talking about all the different things that you might see or might happen in the season of autumn or fall, as some people call it. Pete the Cat Snow Days. This one is really cute for talking about all the different types of things that you can do in the snow. Pete the Cat and the Cool Caterpillar. This one talks about the life cycle of a caterpillar turning into a butterfly. Very educational. Pete the Cat's Family Road Trip. I love this one because it talks about all the different areas and places that you can visit in the United States of America. Pete the Cat's Train Trip. This one is great for kids that maybe have never been able to ride a train or take a train trip and it talks about what it might be like and what you might get to experience if you were to take a train ride. Pete the Cat's World Tour. I like this one because it talks about real places around the world and little bits and pieces 
about what you might experience if you go there. Pete the Cat at the Beach. I did another video based on this book. Really cute, Pete has fun at the beach. Pete the Cat and the New Guy. This would be great if you have new students coming to your school and what it might be like for them and the other students. This last stack of books that I wanted to share with you are ones that I would not recommend and that I want to caution parents and teachers about. Pete the Cat, Crayons Rock. Pete the Cat's Groovy Guide to Kindness. Pete the Cat and His Magic Sunglasses. Pete the Cat Making New Friends. Pete the Cat Goes Camping. Pete the Cat Super Pete. Pete the Cat Rocking Field Day. Pete the Cat and the Cool Cat Boogie. Pete the Cat's Not So Groovy Day. Pete the Cat Go Pete Go. Pete the Cat Robo Pete. I just want to let you know that these are my personal opinions about Pete the Cat books. And I just also wanted to let you know these authors did a great job and came up with a, an adorable, cute Pete character for kids to fall in love with and fall in love with reading. I hope this was helpful and happy reading!